Hello Stamper, welcome to Francie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today I'm gonna to show you a different watercolor background that I learned from my friend Jean. I absolutely love it. It's a little bit of time consuming because you want to let dry and that, but it's still, it's very simple and fun to do. So I think those colors are very vivid. So let's get started. And one thing that I want to say, it don't matter how many you're going to do, they're all going to look different. So the color of choice today, it's going to be Milan Mambo, Crush Curry, and Tango, uh, Tangerine Tango. I love to start on a grid paper. So um, this way I can uh, have a border. If you don't want border, that is fine. And plus it's top of rolling. So this one, see, uh, I don't have a border around. It's uh, wash here and there. I started with a border and then I did mistake, whatever. So I finished with no border. But this one here, you can see I get a nice border around. So what you want to do, it's place your paper on a grid paper and mine measure five and a quarter by four. Now, um, I got, um, you can use washi tape or you can uh, use painter stamp. And my painter stamp, it is so big. You know what? I got some washi tape here. I'm going to use the washi tape. If you don't want to, you know, use your washi tape for that, buy uh, yourself. It's called the blue uh, paper. Now they get some in purple and different color. It's a um, painter's tape. Where are you going to find that? It's at a uh, hardware store or even Walmart, whatever. So I'm going to follow this. So I'm going F, uh, yeah, it would be F inch. So I'm trying to keep that straight to my um, grid paper. So that way I can line up pretty straight. And here, I'm gonna go here. Uh, this one is there, so it's gonna go over there. So I'm doing two square, that's what I'm doing. And then over here. Here we go, and then over here, one seam not right, but we're going to call it good. Here we go. So now I got a nice um, surface to work with, and um, this is going to stop a lot of curling too, but I'm going to show you another tip on how to fix if it, your paper won't curl. So I'm going to open my ink pad. and. Some like squeeze it and open it up and you get your ink there. You can do that or you can add ink of um, re-inker, drops of re-inker like this. So Now you're going to use the spritz bottle or a bottle that I've missed. Just fill it with water and spray your um, watercolor paper. I'm just going to mix this. Now your color brush, make sure that you put your water in and the bigger the brush is, the better it is. So I'm going to wet this just like this. So now I'm going to start with my crush curry and I'm going to put some there. See how it's pooling there? That's what you want. Now, if you don't want it all to mess up, you're going to eat uh, use your heat tool and you're going to dry some and where it cool you're going to see it's going to do like a spider and that's perfectly fine so after that it's kind of dry it don't have to dry completely now you can come back with a different color. I don't even worry about wiping my uh, brush. Well, maybe I should a bit. So I don't mix the color completely. Then make sure your brush is completely wet. I still have plenty of water there. Here we go. That should be good for my uh, orange. I'm going to see there how it's pushed. 
and it's going to make your spider web. I think that's what adds a lot. I'm going to mix the water again a bit. You can always add more water. So I want to add more water here. I'm going to come and get some of my... I squeeze my water. So I get my ink and squeeze a bit my water. See? And she was explaining to us, and I cannot say the word, on a color wheel, it's on a love, I'm not sure how you say it, uh, you want to use some color that are on the same side of the color wheel. If not, your mixing color would become like brown or... So here we go. I'm going to push this here. I had plenty of water. See how vivid those colors are? You can always take a paper towel to in depth at the end when you get too much water. But see the line here? That's what makes it so cool. Okay, now the only thing I think I get too much orange, uh, too much pink and not enough uh, yellow. I'm going to come back and add a bit of yellow here. And we're going to call that good. It don't look like much, but wait till you're done. It's awesome. Now I, I want to dry it, not completely, but enough. You can leave it like that. Or what I'm doing right now, I'm using the Butterfly Basic and I'm using the firm there. And we can add a little bit of wash. So what I'm going to do, it's ink my stamp. And I'm going to use my spritz here. Oops, you just want a little bit. Just going to come right here. It's just going to bleed a bit. Going to ink a bit more. I'm going to move away to spritz because I don't want it to go on my paper. And see how it bleed? That's what makes it nice. Here we go. Going to leave it like that. Now let's close a few ink pad here so we get space to work here. Now after this is dry, you would remove the tape, but I don't want to wait longer. So you start with the last one and keep your tape down. When you remove it, see I keep the tape down so that way, and that I bet you can use it for another card. So I'm just going to put that on the side here. So remove the tape, keep it, see my hand, I've been playing with ink a lot. Keep it down completely so that won't rip your paper. It's just going to peel the tape. But the trick to it though, it's keep it down. See when I don't keep it down, it rip the paper. And it is the same with painter's tape. It do the same job with painter's tape. So keep this down. See, I keep flush there and just pull it very gentle. And see, now we get the perfect frame around. So the grid paper really helped to position that straight. And voila, how vivid it is. Now what I done, I pre-cut some dragonfly. Let me remove some of the mess here. So I got my dragonfly that I'm going to put right there and it just pop everything out. I didn't put greeting on this one. This one I used the watercolor um, wish um, card kit, the stamp set in that and I put just a note. If you want now to put a greeting though I really have to wait till it's completely dry and so for uh, mounting this on here I like to use fast fuse when it comes to watercolor paper and I'm gonna let it dry completely okay I told you I would uh, share a tip if your paper want a bow the best thing to that it's take your paper turn it this way and then spread just a little bit that's way too much here 
just pray a little bit and that's what's going to happen it's going to reverse the way that the fiber been wet and it's going to flat it up so then just let it dry flat and it's going to be okay but when you use the painter stamp the tape or the washi tape really it keep it very nicely flat so now i'm going to wait till it's completely dry and I'm going to finish that. But see, all the same color and really it looked different. Depends on what you put, how you do it. And see this one, I get more of the spider because I let it, the more you're going to dry it, the more of those contrasts you're going to have because you're going to come back and it gives those lines. So it depends what you like. Here, I waited less. Well, you see here I get a good, I just call that the spider. So this is it, my friend. Hope you enjoyed that. Jeanne, thank you so much for sharing that. Until next time, happy stamping. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, all the supplies list, it's going to be on my blog. The link below here are above in the I there. You can click that. It's going to bring you right to my blog post. And you're going to have the measurement, the supplies list, color, and so on. And you can shop 24-7. Thank you so much and have a lovely day, my friend. Bye-bye for now.